hello and hello and welcome everyone today i'm going to uh, discuss about the second unit of uh, mmpc 8 this is a uh, computer system and uh, smart devices and the first uh, point that is given here com components of a computer so here uh, many components are here given as you can see on your screen uh, the first one that is given the input device and that is the, in the left hand side uh, in the middle you have a central processing unit at the bottom you have primary storage and uh, secondary storage and to the right uh, there you have communication devices and output devices so through input devices we provide uh, and give inputs and uh, through output devices we take out outputs and uh, for example uh, input devices can be just like keyboard mouse uh, uh, microphone like that uh, and output devices it may be monitor or uh, speaker okay or display devices or printers uh. so in the uh, middle you can see central processing that is cpu so it consists of uh, you know arithmetic and logic unit and control unit so here uh, what happens uh, is that uh, arithmetic and logic uh, unit uh, do all kind of uh, arithmetic and logical operation and control unit uh, used to uh, provide uh, the control for the processor and uh, many communication devices we can connect to this uh, CPU so that's why in the right hand side there it is written communication uh, devices okay and uh, primary uh, storage it is directly con primary storage it is uh, connected uh, to the cpu that is uh, double headed arrow that it shows that uh, storage the data can be given to the cpu and after processing the processed uh, data uh, can be stored in the primary storage first and then after uh, to the secondary storage so primary storage uh, that is a kind of volatile okay primary storage is volatile so if uh, power it goes away then in that case uh, whatever it was stored it is going to uh, deleted or you can say that it will go away it will not remain but in case of uh, secondary storage uh, if we save in the secondary storage just like hard disk then uh, even if the power there is a power failure then uh, the data saved will remain intact it means there will not be any kind of uh, change uh, in the data saved so that's the difference in between the primary storage and the secondary storage okay and uh, these all things uh, uh, we will discuss in detail just like uh, there you can see at the bottom written 2.4 central processing unit means we will uh, discuss about this all means uh, central processing unit uh, inside uh, what different uh, parts are there and then after we will move on to in input devices also then uh, storage devices also output devices also communication devices also okay so one by one we will move on to this all okay then uh, here uh, there you have uh, communication device communication devices just like uh, modem switch uh, router so those so many things uh, can be connected to the computers so those all are for uh, communication purposes so we will go into the details of uh, those all also now first uh, move on to uh, central processing unit that is 2.4 so it consists of three parts okay central processing unit mainly consists of three parts so the first part that is given the control unit second that is given arithmetic and logic unit and the third one given it is it's a storage okay or cpu register so mainly these three parts uh, are there inside cpu so the control unit uh, uh, sequentially accesses program instructions decodes them and directs alu main memory input output devices and output uh, devices so that the program instructions can be carried out so now uh, you are getting i think um, 
the control unit uh, sequentially accesses program instructions so whatever program instructions are provided so those program instructions are uh, uh, accessed um, by control unit and whatever instructions are given so those instructions are decoded and to after decoding means so uh, that control unit directs uh, arithmetic and logic unit main memory and input output devices means according to the instructions whatever uh, the instructions uh, say so according to that uh, though those uh, things are going to be controlled it means whatever uh, other components just like a uh, alu main memory input output devices for these all whatever instructions are uh, provided so that it will be uh, carried out <coughs> so that's it uh, about this then after given the word length of a cpu is the number of bits uh, it can process in a single cycle so in a single cycle whatever number of uh, bits uh, a processor can handle or you can say can process just for given the word length word length is nothing but the number of bits it can process in a single cycle okay it means in a single cycle whatever number of bits uh, it can process it means so who can process the cpu so whatever it is the number of bits which the cpu can process so that is the word length okay for example uh, 464 bit uh, machine can process uh, 64 bit in a single cycle for example in my laptop that is 64 bits so it means uh, in a single cycle it can handle 64 bits now next move on to storage and uh, storage and storage devices storage media are distinguished by their relative speed capacity and um, resilience of failure on this basis we can distinguish uh, various kinds of uh, storage and storage devices so the first one that is given the volatile storage so volatile storage needs a uh, continuous power so that's given here example main memory and uh, cache memory there you have so if uh, there is power failure then whatever saved so it will vanish and in case of non-volatile storage uh, do not require power to retain uh, content so even if there is power failure then whatever saved there in the uh, non-volatile storage so that will remain an uh, intact there will be no change so example you have for uh, non-volatile storage just like uh, magnetic uh, tapes okay hard disks ex like that so that is uh, about the non-volatile storage okay and uh, in case of uh, volatile storage it was main memory just like ram and uh, cache memory okay so that's about the volatile storage and the non-volatile storage and uh, further we can classify uh, volatile storage just like uh, we will uh, see or later that how now we can study about uh, the main memory means memory different memory types so now first uh, uh, see about uh, the example of uh, non-volatile non-volatile storage uh, there you have the hard disk magnetic tape so what happens in hard disk if you store any uh, data there in the hard disk so uh, and if there it is the power failure then the data saved in the hard disk it does not uh, change or it does not uh, you know disappear it remains intact so that is the uh, characteristic of uh, non-volatile storage i think that is uh, clear to you all so for in the same way and many more things many more different kinds of uh, storage devices are there so if any kind of uh, you know difficulties you face about different kinds of memory because uh, these uh, topics are a little bit technical in nature so if you want to explain me about this all in detail then uh, you can write in the comments now next move on to main memory okay as you can see on your screen there you have main memory it holds the programs and data required by the cpu for carrying out uh, its operation 
okay for carrying out its operation this main memory holds the programs and data required by the cpu so here that is the work of the main memory so it is uh, connected to the cpu uh, for uh, you know providing data so whatever data the cpu required for processing so that is provided by the main memory the types of main memory you have the first one that is uh, ram second it is uh, rom so rom that is a uh, non volatile okay and non volatile it means uh, whatever program that is saved in rom that it will remain intact even there it is power failure and uh, one more thing that you know for boot program okay so rom it is used for boot programs means how the computer system is going to start when you first uh, press your you know computer's power button then how the operating system will load and all all other kinds of um, uh, softwares will load into the computer so those kinds of instructions are uh, given in the rom okay it means whatever program saved now so those instructions are available there so rom there you have uh, prom programmable read only memory and eprom erasable prog programmable read only memory so prom it is uh, first manufactured and then after once uh, can be programmed but in case of eprom what happens uh, once programmed further can be reprogrammed uh, if there is a requirement uh, means by using flash we can uh, delete the written program into the prom eprom and then uh, we can uh, change the program so that kind of thing we can do uh, in eprom but in case of ram so for ram uh, that is a kind of uh, non volatile sorry that is volatile memory so if there is power failure so whatever uh, saved in ram that it will disappear or it may be deleted so ram here it is uh, sram static ram and the second one is dynamic ram so in case of a static ram uh, no data refreshment required okay no data refreshment is required in case of sram but in case of dram data refreshment is required okay because uh, capacitive elements are used uh, to make uh, dynamic ram so did you, uh, you know whatever ram we use in our computers so uh, that is a kind of dram so <coughs> so for continuously recharge capacitive elements uh, used in uh, dram we need a continuous power supply if uh, we do not provide power supply to ram then uh, whatever charge stored in uh, dram will uh, discharge and uh, the data saved in ram it is in the form of charge only then you have uh, next uh, hmm, cas okay next you have the cache um, the cpu keeps part of the program and the data into cache memory so cache memory it is nearest one memory it is also present inside cpu so which is very fast compared to ram and uh, much more fast as compared to hard disk so this cache memory uh, which is uh, nearest to the cpu keeps part of the program and data set data uh, which is required by the cpu because cpu is very fast uh, as compared to ram so that's why whatever data is required by the processor to process so some part of the data is it is uh, stored in the cache okay miss you, you can think of just like a sequence so whatever uh, data in the hard disk so that it can be transferred to the ram that is faster than hard disk and then from ram to uh, cache memory because cache memory is faster than ram also and the processor is faster than the cache and the ram both so that kind of uh, data transfer is required because the speed of the processor it is much faster uh, much faster uh, compared to the ram clear so that is uh, cas memory then you have the categories so, okay we can categorize cas memory into different levels so, as you can see here uh, 
categorized as uh, levels okay so cache it is categorized as levels that describes its closeness and accessibility to the microprocessor okay means uh, how close the cache is uh, to the microprocessor on the basis of that we can categorize cache so three uh, kinds of uh, cache there it is given l1 cache l2 cache and l3 cache so these are the three kinds so l1 it is nearest and l3 it is the farthest so it means we can think of that l1 it is much faster and l3 it is slower but the capacity of l1 it will be less uh, to you know or you can say storage capacity it will be less but uh, it will be faster compared to l2 or and l3 why because for manufacturing l1 cas uh, uh, it requires so uh, more okay that is more complicated so that's why uh, more cost it will be required for l1 cache so that's why the storage capacity is generally kept low in case of l1 cache clear then you have the secondary storage secondary storage okay so main memory I'm talking about right now so secondary so main memory I think are done that it was RAM ROM okay RAM ROM and then inside RAM ROM I discussed uh, uh, you know two types of uh, ROM that is PROM and uh, EPROM and then in case of RAM I talked about uh, static RAM okay now let secondary storage so it is non volatile Okay, non-volatile means uh, if something it is uh, stored in secondary storage so it will remain intact uh, even there it is power failure and uh, there it is given the larger capacity but slow the capacity of uh, secondary storage generally it is uh, much uh, greater compared to pri uh, you know primary storage but the capacity is very uh, you know large so example you have magnetic disk magnetic tape so magnetic disk just like hard disk then you have read redundant uh, array of independent disks what given there redundant array of independent disks so what happens in read is an array of multiple inexpensive hard disks okay what is this is an array of multiple inexpensive or inexpensive hard disk that uh, provides a fault tolerance through redundancy and improved as access rates so accessing multiple disk is <coughs> okay sorry accessing multiple disks as they are one large disk it here what happens the multiple hard disks we connect with each other so that uh, the capacity of a storage can be improved and uh, one more advantage is that uh, even uh, when uh, one hard disk uh, it crashes then uh, the data that kind you know this uh, uh, red it is designed in such a way that uh, if there it is any kind of failure of any one disk then the data will be stored in some other disks it means that it is must that it is much resilience of in the failure of the storage in case of red and the purpose of red here it is to improve capacity so that's because multiple disks are used it means the capacity will increase and second there it is given improved security improved security uh, because uh, multiple disks are there so that's why even if some uh, disk crashes then other disks are available where the data can be stored okay and improved performance also then next you have input output devices so input output device input devices are like key device keying device just like keyboard pointing device just like uh, mouse and then after uh, optical character recognizer or uh, voice recognizer just like a microphone that is also a kind of input device etc and output devices you have uh, to represent uh, a processed output so for what purpose we need output device to uh, represent processed output 
so monitors printers speakers projectors plotters so these are output devices then um, yes a uh, television also is a plotter also printer also so these are output devices where uh, the process data can be shown or can be taken out and then uh, now next move on to networking and networking devices so what is a network network is a group of computers printers and other devices connected by uh, or through wired or wireless devices okay so simply it is a uh, group of computers printers and other devices connected through wired or wireless device I means so whether it is the wired connection or wireless connection if these all uh, computers print uh, computers printers and other devices are connected with each other so that we can call as network each device is called node so each device just like uh, if in a network uh, you have printer so printer or computer then we can call uh, those as nodes and then you have network top topologies so topologies are so nothing but simply the possible ways to to connect computers and other devices so how we can uh, connect computers and other devices with each other so that is uh, network topologies means how means the possible ways through which we can connect these devices with these computers uh, those uh, possible ways are known as network topology so the first one that is given the ring topology so in case of ring so all you know the system should be con interconnected with each other it means there should be closed path in case of a star in case of a star what happens uh, one central system is we one central computer is required to transfer data from one to another it means uh, if uh, one computer wants to send the data from one to another then in that case the data you know what uh, must flow through the central computer it means whatever data is going to uh, you know at the send that it will first go to the central computer and through the central computer then other com computer it goes so it means uh, it acts uh, the central computer as acts as the link for uh, all next you have tree so in case of tree so just like uh, you know uh, as opposed to the star in case of tree there is no need of the central compute central computer for transferring a signal in this case the signal can be transferred uh, in uh, multiple ways okay because in case of tree multiple branches are there so that's why if in one branch uh, you know some computers are interconnected and uh, in only that branch uh, the signal is to be transferred then there is no need uh, for the signal to go to other branch okay it means so uh, the signal will go means or you can say will float only in that branch only not other in case of uh, next given fourth bus topology in case of bus topology a central connection okay or you can say a central wired connection it is provided here and uh, all other computers are connected to that so the whenever the signal uh, it uh, it is transferred then in that case uh, it will pass through this uh, main bus okay in case of bus topology the main way or you can say the you can say whatever the horizontal line there given uh, just below of bus written they are fourth just below fourth so just below uh, they are uh, the main the horizontal uh, main that is the horizontal line is the main line and that is known as bus so whatever uh, signal it is going to be transferred by computers so those signals must pass through this bus so that's why the name given bus okay bus is nothing but the uh, you know uh, many or you can say collection of uh, conducting wires okay or you can say group of conducting wires through which signal cannot be transmitted so that is uh, about bus okay then you have the hybrid structure in case of hybrid structure means whatever uh, 
topologies are there out of those if we combine uh, more than one then that it becomes the hybrid structure just like uh, you see uh, here for example a ring and a star these two topologies are present in this so ring means uh, triangle it is in the left hand side and uh, that it is also a central computer so it means that is a combination of ring and a star topology next you have here a smart devices smart devices uh, are nothing but interactive electronic gadgets that understand simple commands sent by the users and help in daily activities example you have a smartphone tablets smart watches means uh, simple instructions you can give uh, to use these uh, smart devices okay so that's given uh, then you have interactive element uh, sorry electronic gadgets interactive yeah, smartphone very interactive and uh, very simple commands require just like uh, simply you have to touch and then it will understand your instruction okay so that is uh, about uh, smart devices and uh, then you have the communication technology okay communication technology so communication is a transmission of a signal by a way of a particular medium from sender to a receiver so what is this uh, it is transmission of a signal by a way of particular medium from sender to receiver so two modes uh, are there synchronous and asynchronous in case of synchronous uh, communication data transfer is controlled by a timing signal of the sending device it means the sending device uh, has the timing signal which controls the data transfer it means when the data is going to be transmitted from the sender to the receiver so that is being controlled by the timing signal in case of synchronous communication then uh, 